what's going on fellow rangers welcome back to another video here on power rangers legacy wars my name is Judson snow and today guys we're gonna have an unboxing of the brand new dino ranger dominic hargan officially is released right now uh so let's go ahead and get this started so we can see here you can get his leader and his assist shards unfortunately there was no live stream for the re live reaction because anyway didn't do a live stream <laughs> so that was unfortunate but there he is path of the rhino uh, from Jungle Fury, as you can see here, we're just going to do an unboxing. I saw his movesets. I'm not really, really that fond of him, honestly. But you can see here, on the third step, you get two guaranteed. Then on the seventh, you get another two. And then on the eleventh, you get another two. So we need four shards before step eleven, so that way we can actually officially get him. Um, I don't know how deep I am going to go, because I only got 4,000 power crystals. I really not a fan too much of him honestly uh i i think he's very very uh mediocre at best so we're gonna see we're gonna play as him because we actually i need to be able to play as a character myself and dictate how he's going to be uh once i do that so again i don't think i'm gonna go to the full warrior boost deal uh i think this character is probably one of those that i'm just gonna just do an initial unlock and then that's pretty much it <laughs> honestly i'm not gonna go too crazy for this one i think this one is definitely a not a great not the greatest hit but very very you know okay at best so we're already getting a couple of shards of him which is nice uh because he's an epic so it's, it's kind of a little bit easier to get him uh we're only getting one copy of him but that's fine though we just need uh just four just in general in order to be able to unlock him uh, I'm definitely probably just going to get his assist off camera. Maybe. Depending on if we have enough sh uh, enough uh, power shards for that. Uh, if not, then I will have, probably have to just make like a small purchase. And just be able to get his shards. And then uh, we'll just call it as that. So, uh, we're getting two more. So, I think that's a total of what, seven or nine that we have right now. Uh, with our, we're at step eight. So, we're definitely probably going to be able to get him within the first rotation. Which is pretty nice. I definitely like that. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we got one more copy of him, so that's it. So that's there. Uh, again, his percent goes to sixty-five point one percent. I forgot to look at his previous percent, but I'm pretty sure the percent is like the same thing like this one, right? Nope. Okay, this is it. Okay, eighty-three, eighty-nine, whatever. <laughs> so uh, you get his uh, step five. That's actually pretty cool. Step five, you actually get it. So we're actually gonna probably do a whole unboxing right here, which is nice. So I'll definitely take it. Again, if, you, if this seems a lot different than my normal videos, it's because I'm actually playing on my PC, which is pretty nice. And uh, I feel like the quality is a little bit better when it comes to uh, visual quality. And plus, you get to see my face. A lot of people always want to see that for some reason. I don't know why. But nonetheless, <laughs> I am the voice behind, or the face behind the voice, I guess. Uh, neither though my picture is on my YouTube banner, but you can see me there all the time. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going here. Uh, we're trying. I'm trying not to like like bump my mic because I think last time I was bumping my mic a little bit as well, and that wasn't like too great, uh, like hearing sound wise. All right, so we're at step five here. We're gonna guarantee the assist right here. Uh, we're probably gonna stop the recording of the video strictly just to actually upgrade him just a bit, because again, like I said, I'm not gonna really waste and put too much. Too much uh, power crystals into him uh because i kind of don't like where he's sitting at right now so all right let's remove tommy the most op ranger out there right now uh let's go ahead and unlock dominic there we go so sad that he did not get a super he should have definitely got a super in my opinion so let's go ahead and assign him uh let's go ahead and get his assist as well and we're going to go ahead and assign the assist. Let's do an unlock. Bam. All right. Let's go ahead and where is he at? Let's go ahead and assign him there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some gameplay before I do like a whole upgrade and stuff like that. And then we'll come right back. So let's, let's take a look at Dominic together before I do a gameplay of, uh, you know, how he is. So let's take, let's take a look. This is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. Again, because I'm not going to really upgrade him too much here. Alright, so first things first. Super Slash. Let's see what that is. 
So it's a projectile that causes a pop-up. Okay, so blade attack. Okay, I do like how flashy he looks. What's the distance on this? This is the only bad thing about having a computer is like they're just... They're literally just going to sit there in front of you. Alright, so Rhino Blade. Wow, Rhino Blade is super up close. Okay, what's Blade Attack? What's the distance on this? Wow. Okay, really, really, really up close. Okay. Alright, Super Slash. The Projectile. Alright, let's see Rhino Fury. If we ever do get the opportunity to. I wish that you were able to shut off the computer. All right, back away. Okay, let's. All right, Rhino Fury. So on third hit, it causes a stagger. Can you cancel this? You could cancel the. You could cancel the first. The first two hit, which is nice. Obviously, that's probably the combo that you want to do. Very, very flashy. That's that's for sure. All right, Super Slash again. It seems like it's very quick. I wonder on third hit, can you cancel on third hit? One, two, three. You can't cancel on third hit or fourth hit. Uh, Super Slash, can you cancel this? There's no cancel for that. Uh, Rhino Blade, super up close, it seems like. Okay. Is there anything else that he does? Oh, Blade Attack. Yeah, and Blade Attack is the one that's super, super up close. But it does, it makes him do like that nice little flip thing. Okay. All right. Not sure how I feel about him just yet. Oh, let's, let's use the assist really quickly too. All right, his assist, you can just call him out. He does a slash and he does, he does an automatic sh um, projectile shot. Okay. All right, so that's Dominic. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and then I'm going to uh, upgrade him and then we're gonna take him on ladder and see what we can do with Dominic. So be right back. All right, guys, so we are finally back. I went ahead and upgrade, did a little upgrading. I went almost all the way to Warrior Boost, not clearly, though. Uh, so we're at level 5. We got everything to level 8. His talent tree is all the way to the line. That's all I'm going to do at most. Uh, again, his assist. Oh, let's actually upgrade his assist, too. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, that's probably going to help a little bit. You know what's also going to help is if I level this up to level 4. Level 5. Ah, okay, so you just see some upgrades here. So uh, his assist is level 5 as well. Again, his assist always up to the first uh, level of the talent tree. So we're at 36,000 HP. Lovely. <laughs> so we have a breaker assist and a shield assist, which is kind of what you kind of want to do with this uh, character because you at least want at least one shield and at least maybe one other breaker. It, maybe if you don't care for breakers, then you probably want to have another strike, depending on you, honestly. But I definitely feel like you should at least use one shield assist. So let's go ahead and take him on to the ladder. Uh, I'm in currently, what is this, bronze? So I'm playing people with like 50,000, 55,000, almost 60,000 HP. So that's going to be fun. We're definitely going to be a clear disadvantage for a little bit. Uh, I, what I'm going to probably do is play, maybe play like one or two games with the assist and then... Uh, change that out and put something so we could get a little bit more beefy of our HP pool So that way we're not gonna like lose in like three hits <laughs> Because we're playing against people with their main Attackers and main account and all that stuff. So again, this is why I hate this is why I always say I hate ladder I wish there was two separate ladders, but there we go. We got Tommy. So let's see. Let's see how this is gonna be Tommy has a lot of blocks and this guy has a lot of strikes. So Okay, so that was a good first thing here. Nice pop-up. Yep, no Kia for you. Okay, that, that Dino Fury shift have probably been a three. Okay, so we have Tommy level three there. You got a breaker hit for us? Yep, there it goes. No, oh, there goes the spam. I, I feel like this lo that level two should not have a stun. Definitely should not have a stun. That makes no sense. Yup, there he goes. Pop, pop. I should have blocked that one. I was gonna call the block there. Nice. Okay, you gotta hear the little shing. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. 
Oh boy. You you know what got me is uh looking at the looking at the dagger um made me think of Tommy's dagger throw. That's why cuz I've been playing Tommy for a bit and it, it made me thought about it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We all, we actually almost won too. Uh, so we're probably going to look at his, whoa, what is going on? <laughs> All right, so that is his losing pose. Uh, hopefully we can see his winning pose. All right, that's enough with his assist. His assist is not that great. <laughs> his assist is not that great. Uh, we're going to definitely try to get something with a little bit more uh, beefiness to it. So there we go. We're at 42,000. That's a little bit more uh, to, to my liking. So let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, hopefully we could get a W. I definitely would like to at least see his win pose. So we'll probably play until we do see his win pose, I guess. We'll, we'll try our best. We will definitely try our best with... You know I mean, we, we didn't hit, what, 40,000 HP yet or something? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, we're testing him out to see how the, he plays against the meta, that's for sure. Scorpina, I think he should do very good, though. Uh, simple fact is because she's nothing but breakers. And this guy is only a level two Scorpina, so that's that's very interesting. Yeah, see that, that that's really nice. Gotta be careful with her boomerang. Okay. Up a daisy. I do like how it does a, does a nice pop up. Again, he he's not gonna he's not gonna hit as hard as we want him because obviously for obvious reasons he's not leveled up. Uh, to you know. So a lot more potential so okay that's a good hit there i hit the strike i 100 percent hit the strike that's really cool nope nothing we do there again we're, we're we're hitting him so many times and we're like not even doing damage to this guy so again it is a projectile though Yep. All right. Again, it's it's so hard. It's so hard to play on ladder. It's so hard to dictate how good a character is just because of their power. They're they're not as leveled up as they should be compared to the other people that are playing this game on ladder. It's so frustrating to for new characters to show their shine. But Tommy was an exception. <laughs> Tommy was an exception because. He's just straight ridiculously broken. Um, but this guy is really on that struggle bus. Really is. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a win here. I'm going to try our best. But we might have to assist spam, that's for sure. This is probably his most damaging attack. His middle slot is probably where he, where he shines the most, I would think. Look at the range. That's so bad, dude. Compared to, like, what we had with Tommy, that range is not that great. Look at this. Yeah, it, it's really, really... Yeah, we're gonna block you. And he's not even gaining EP. You see this? Even during those attacks, he's gaining no type of EP. Which is super unfortunate. Like at least if he was gaining EP, he would be a he wouldn't be he wouldn't be struggling as much. I do like how you can bait your opponent to uh. Okay, we might we might be able to do something here. That kick is definitely deadly. Crit, no crit. Wow, no. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we almost got him. Yo, we tried so... Yo, we were hitting him so many times. So many times. This is why it's like... This is why I hate trying out new characters on ladder, man. This is why. This is so, so bad. You know how... Look how many times we hit him. We hit him so many times. And we weren't doing nothing of damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing nothing to damage. And a lot of people be like, oh, you should upgrade them. You should upgrade them. Yeah, but I don't have unlimited resources to upgrade everybody that comes out. You know what I mean? Like, it's 
It's really rough. It's really, really rough. So we see our first mirror match, which is nice. But he goes with the better attack. Okay. Yep. Nothing, nothing we can really do here. We're just, like, really in the mercy. I do like how, like, this is probably going to work here. Definitely, uh... Yeah, right. That's a good hit there. That has some decent range. Again, like, this guy definitely probably invested a lot more than I did. Um, I do not know if we're going to get a win here, guys. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yep, that works. Yep, he waited a little bit. Pop. There we go. Yep. Definitely invested. He did a lot more damage than I did, that's for sure. If we actually take a look, we actually, you know what the cool thing is too about this? Is that you can actually look at your opponent, how much they invested. So we actually could click on his name. Yeah, look at this. Level 10s. How much the talent tree he did. He completely maxed it out. So we were playing against uh, pretty much a maxed out Dominic compared to my level 8 and me not so maxed out. So again, it's not even about skill at this point. It's literally just about unfair advantage. And it's just, I don't know. Like, Tommy was a lot more, like, a lot more happy playing as him. But this guy is pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> this guy is probably one of the myths of the year. Probably the, probably the first, like, not-so-good character. Just straight out of the box without, like, doing some upgrades. I need to test him in, like, in challenge modes where I can actually really see how viable he is. Like, he doesn't get one-shotted by people. So... Unfortunately, we might not see his wind pose, and we're probably playing against another whale because I kind of kind of recognize his name here. Yep. Okay. Probably should just kept going because he was see how he blocked it. He preempt blocked. Yep. All right. That's really cool. That actually hit there. But well, we're not going to be able to do no damage, though. And super, get the EP regen, and then we lose. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. I do like how that does, does a stun. Wow. <laughs> Anti-air. That's fair. All right, we'll play one more. I'll, I'll give him one more try to probably see a win pose here. Again, like I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna invest. Definitely not gonna invest in this guy. We'll see. We'll try one more here. One more, and then I'll give my final thoughts on the character. I just, I just been saying this for the longest. There should be two separate ladders. One for the whales. And then one for just auto battle. So that way you actually can have fun with your characters. Not none of this just... You have to have them guys level up in order to actually have fun with the game. Because that's what a game is, right? You're supposed to have fun with the game? That's what I think. That's definitely one of my uh, biggest pet peeves. Uh, I hit strike, by the way, too. I definitely hit a strike. Alright. Alright. Let's see if level 1 Tommy can beat us. That'll hit twice. Oh, we'll get out of that one. Gao used to be so good, man. The reason why I'm using Gao is because he's probably one of my best assists that I have. Uh, it comes to, like, blue shields. So that's really nice there. We gotta read his we gotta read his attack. Which we did. I hit strike, but okay. EP regen. Nice. We actually might get a win here. Alright, that's good! <laughs> I'll take it. Last game. Alright, what's his win pose? Okay. Nothing too crazy. He should have probably his body should have been a little bit more this way so you can see the gun here. Well, that being blocked out so all right so that is it for my unboxing video guys uh overall thoughts on dominic 
Argen. Oh boy, where to begin? Let's let's grab his assist here. Where to begin? I think ultimately, if I can find his assist, ultimately he is very, very, very mediocre at best. Dino Fury, uh, I, it's cool that you get to do the first two hits, then you can cancel, so you can bait blocks. I do like that. Uh, on third hit, you do get a stun. So that way, and you get a, a, a nice straight pop-up. So that way, uh, characters like V2 Tommy assist can actually do some good damage. You can hit him with the three hits with the Dragon Flute afterwards, which is pretty nice. Um, it's very, very, again, like, it's not, like, super, super fast. Um, super Slash has some good properties where it, it is a projectile. And if your opponent is close to you, you do get that nice pop-up, which is really nice. It does go across the stage, which is pretty cool. Uh, Blade Attack is a really decent move. It remi Again, it reminds me of, like, Chung Li Ranger's uh, Breaker Kick, where you have to be extremely up close, uh, but you get some good damage in, because, you know, the more hits it does, the potential it gets to get more crit, which is really nice. Um, occasionally, and then Rhino Blade, again, another close-up attack. Like, Tommy, Tommy could hit you from, like, two or three spaces away, you know what I mean? Like, the, the difference between spacing and hitting you is very huge in this game because a lot of people like to hit you hit you hit you and then they back away all the way across the map and by the time you reach them they're gonna hit you again so you play that back and forth mind game type of thing and i think this character will definitely fall to a lot of good good players that play like that or bad players play like that i guess whatever you want to call it but to that strategy uh, i think he's probably gonna fall pretty hard um his assist is very okay it hits you regardless if it hits your opponent or not, and it does a, a projectile blast. So, again, okay for four costs, meh. Depending on what his HP pool is, it's probably what you want to upgrade, but ultimately, thumbs up to that one. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think he, I think ultimately for what we have seen through this year, um, I think he's definitely on the bottom, bottom of the tier list of the newest things that we have been getting for been getting this year so definitely very very underwhelming if he had a super maybe he'll shine a little bit more because that ep regain and doing more attacks to get more combo string i think that'll definitely push him up a little bit higher but that'll push anybody up a lot higher especially if you have a super so um him not having a super was probably probably one of the lamest things uh, RJ got one, but he didn't, and yeah, I don't know. Very, very mediocre at best. Again, you guys could prove me wrong once he's leveled up and stuff like that. Maybe he might shine a little bit more, but ultimately, like right now out of the box, uh, my first initial thoughts, I think he's very, very okay at best. So, not terrible, but just okay and uh, playable, so... Uh, with that being said, that is my thoughts and uh, unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead and live stream now. Uh, for those who are missing it, if you're going to watch it on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching that. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Power Ranger Legacy Wars. Peace out. And yes, he does have a challenge. Oh, I, his challenge was there before, but they took it out. Um, but yeah, uh, peace out. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video coming soon.